It would seem that the kids of our pop generation have a lot to say. A social document, not a satire, not a protest, just a picture of a social trap. Of course, underneath it is the spirit of protest, which underlies so many of these pop songs. The implication is, and strongly, that this is not at all the way things ought to be. In fact, the message in the lyrics of most of these songs is delivered by implication. This is one of our teenagers' strongest weapons. It amounts almost to a private language. But this use of implication produces another effect as well, something bordering on poetry. 
many of the lyrics in their oblique allusions and way out metaphors are beginning to sound like real poems and protected by this armor of poetry our young lyricists can say just about anything they care to and they do care they care about civil rights about sexual freedom about peace they talk about alienation mysticism drugs and uh, the lyric of along comes mary i have been informed by its author 22 year old tandon ulmer is not about a girl named mary at all but about mary jane which is a literal translation of marijuana but mostly they talk about love as all songwriters have since time began only this time it's either a cool kind of love or a frankly sexual love or and this is most important universal love a mystic oriental concept that is presumably attainable through meditation or withdrawal from the establishment or most readily through drugs now what does all this mean i think it's all part of a historic revolution one that has been going on for 50 years only now these young people have gotten control of a mass medium the phonograph record and the music on the records with its noise and its cool messages may make us uneasy but we must take it seriously as both a symptom and a generator of this revolution we must listen to it and to its makers this new breed of young people with long hair and fanciful clothing i'm very happy about it i feel yeah like there's some sort of guerrilla warfare psychological warfare going on you know and i feel like uh you know guerrilla i feel good but out here on la's sunset strip it's not guerrilla warfare and it's not psychological either it's the real thing and here he is walking on a street communicating with his peers and the cop says you can't do it get off the street every weekend hundreds of kids lots of them long hairs pour onto one plush mile of sunset boulevard called the strip to make the scene to dance and to hear the rock music suddenly the authorities tried to clear them out the kids reacted by demonstrating and the fight was on this crisis brought the fans together emotion made it easy for them to talk and we tried to find out if there was a leading connection between what the musicians were telling us and what their audience here on the strip would say why is it they can put down on our music i mean they say it's bad i mean they say it's a bunch of noise they turn down the noise but is it really noise do they ever listen to the words you know like they said they don't listen to the words and what are the words the words they're talking about love they're talking about freedom they're talking about peace the kids like music you know they're gonna have some place to go they don't have a lot of dough so they come to places like Pandora's box but if they close them all down what can you do except stand out on the street you are standing there you're loitering because you don't have any money because you don't have a job because you don't have a direction you're not doing anything you you're not a part of right. the super society right. which is called america but just because we're not going along with society like everybody else goes they want everybody to do the same thing and live their own life they want they, all they want to do is they want you to grow up get an education raise children and die i think they got as much right here as anybody because they dress different got long hair people think they're second-rate citizens which is not true and when you start telling them they can't do something, that's when they're going to try to prove they can. Just like if you tell some colored guy he's not going to move in your neighborhood, he's going to prove to you can move in there because it's a free country. See, we've given these kids a dream, which somebody gave to us, and it's called the American dream. And we want nothing to do with it except to talk about it. We don't want it. I think that uh, there's a revolution brewing, and... It's going to be a sloppy one, unless something is done to get it organized in a hurry. I think everything will turn out all right, that is if uh, they aren't killed off systematically beforehand.
idol's eye Some may go, he will surely be. 